Today we're gonna talk about why you should improve your dopamine levels and after that we're gonna talk about how you can improve them. First and foremost, what is dopamine? Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that is important for the reward and movement systems in your body, which means that without dopamine you cannot move, you're actually paralyzed without dopamine and that it's important for experiencing pleasure. So every person has a baseline level of dopamine and if you do an activity your dopamine levels rise after that peak they fall again and they fall below baseline how much dopamine level levels fall after a peak is determined by how big this boost in dopamine level was which means that if you had a high jump in dopamine if something was really pleasurable then you also experience a greater crash afterwards. Now how pleasurable an experience actually is, is determined by the difference between baseline level of dopamine and the dopamine peak that you get from this experience. So overall this means that you want to keep your dopamine levels higher because basically dopamine is molecule of drive and motivation in some sense. So you want to keep your dopamine levels high, as high in baseline, so that you have more motivation. This whole video today is about how do you increase your dopamine levels, your baseline dopamine levels, in order to improve your motivation. So as we said, the, the crash in dopamine comes from the different, comes from the, from the boost you get your got from an activity prior to the crash which means that if you do something that boosts your dopamine only for a short period of time but in this short period of time very drastically that you're going to experience a huge crash afterwards and it's going to be really tough for you to get back to baseline to build up more motivation again so let's take chocolate for example for example chocolate improves dopamine levels i think by about 150 percent or so but but only for a minute or so which means that after this minute you're going to have less motivation and you'll have to build up for that again so what we want to do is prioritize activities that give us boosts in dopamine and boost our dopamine baseline but we want to but we want to focus on activities that do so over a longer period of time and not just for a few seconds or minutes so the first way you could boost your dopamine levels is through deliberate cold exposure meaning either ice baths if you have the opportunity for that i assume you don't <laughs> so just take cold showers basically how cold so cold that you'd like to get out but you can safely stay in the shower and experience the cold. What it does is that it, it, it triggers the release of adrenaline and because adrenaline is built out of dopamine, dopamine is released as well. So you, actually it's first dopamine and then adrenaline. Doesn't matter, the point is dopamine is released. These levels will stay up for around one to two hours and if you do this every day in the morning for example you can always start with a nice juicy boost of dopamine in the morning well, which is pretty nice in my opinion now note that cold showers will will trigger the release of dopamine but still your dopamine receptors have to be available for the dopamine to have its greatest effect so you're going to experience that that improvement and motivation from cold showers but you can even improve that effect and enhance that effect by consuming co caffeine roughly one hour before the cold shower or bef before something else that triggers dopamine release because caffeine partly also increases the availability of dopamine receptors i don't necessarily say now drink caffeine always in the morning or always before a cold shower 
I just want to make clear that that is a thing that you could do and you could if you're a coffee drinker anyways you could time that with cold showers roughly one hour later I personally don't drink coffee or anything other that uh, with caffeine but as I said you could do so if you wanted to now to the second part how you can increase your dopamine baseline levels. This is going to be a little bit difficult at first, but trust me, it's totally worth it. And it, it, it sounds a little bit weird and stupid. Gotta be honest about that. It, it, it really sounds stupid, but, but it actually is true. Uh, I don't remember the exact ways how this works. You, you can check out Andrew Huberman's podcast about dopamine. There are plenty of them and in one of them he talks about how you can say to yourself that you're doing an activity. You willingly chose to do this activity. The activity is hard but you like the activity and because it is hard and you like it that it's going to increase the release of baseline dopamine later. You can just say this to yourself whenever you're doing something which is hard but you're actually liking it and through that you're going to build up dopamine base level now how could you do that for example let's say you're going to the gym or you want to start going to the gym just go to the gym you're hitting the workout it's it's amazing and after that or during the workout you say to yourself who this is hard but you know what, I chose to do so and I actually like it. And because of that, because I'm doing that hard thing, it's going to increase my dopamine levels afterwards. And by repeating this a few times, it's actually going to happen and your dopamine levels will go up and up, permanently, basically. As, a, as long as you don't do a whole bunch of stuff that crashes your dopamine down, like like masturbating the whole day or what so but basically the, this is the magic trick how you can trick your brain into the liking to do hard things you have to somehow access your inner reward system and you, you somehow have to make your brain release dopamine from such hard activities and you can exactly do it this way by telling you by, tell, by telling yourself that you like this hard work now the problem is you actually have to have to really like it so maybe start with something that's hard and that you really like because the nice thing about this is you can talk to yourself that you like one thing it's going to increase your dopamine release doing this thing but it also is going to increase your dopamine release doing other hard things which means that this that, that this accessing the internal your internal reward system translates to other hard activities. So if you have one hobby, just one, that you really like and that's kind of hard to do, do that. Tell the sentence sentence to yourself that that it's hard, uh, but you willingly chose to do so and that you like it, and because of that, it's going to increase your dopamine levels, and it is actually going to increase your dopamine levels and you're gonna have more motivation to do other things and these other things will seem more pleasurable as well because you remember how pleasurable an experience is is not the different not the overall height of your dopamine but the difference between baseline and peak level dopamine if you do a difficult task and you, you can kind of get your brain to release dopamine during this difficult task, this difficult task is going to be pleasurable, which is pretty amazing, hey? Now, another thing to increase your dopamine levels and keep motivation high is by employing something that's called intermittent reward schedule. What this basically is that you're, is that you're celebrating activities sometimes but not always i'll once again take the going to the gym as an example let's say you really like enjoying 
listen, enjoy listening to music at the gym. Then what you can do is, most of the times you go without music. I know first it's boring, but you're gonna get used to it and you're going to get more dopamine out of it in the end, basically. But because again, music is going to stimulate you and going to increase dopamine levels, but you're gonna have to crash afterwards while the heart activity while only doing the hard activity is going to improve your motivation levels uh, constantly. Okay, now now back to the technique, inter intermittent reward schedule. You should sometimes really celebrate your workouts or whatever you're doing. Uh, br bring music or bring whatever you really enjoy doing while doing the hard activity. This is shown to be effective and it's basically the, the same technique casinos use to keep you gambling but, but, but doing it this way and you, you really have to keep it random and you don't follow a specific plan when you're going to celebrate these events or not and by keeping it random oh, you, you trick your brain into thinking oh my god I, I want to do, do this again maybe it will give me this amazing boost again and but so, so so basically this keeps up your motivation as well again which is pretty cool now next thing this is not how you how you increase dopamine levels but how you prevent crashing them it is really important to to focus on the activity as as the goal itself you shouldn't reward yourself for doing something now how do how do i mean that there, there was a study with children who liked to paint but like they, they really enjoyed enjoyed paint painting <laughs> can't talk they really enjoyed painting uh and some so re researchers took them told them paint a bit they liked painting then they gave them a reward for painting. So, so the children got used to getting a reward for doing something that they already liked. And then when the researchers took away the reward again, the children didn't enjoy painting any anymore. So you, you could say your the, 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 the reward becomes becomes the thing that's necessary for dopamine release. So you you kind of hook your dopamine release to the to the reward instead of the instead of the activity that you actually want to get dopamine from. That that, that this sounded a bit a little bit difficult, I know. Basically, don't reward yourself. Try to get into your head and to in, to get dopamine out of an activity just by saying these sentences that I've repeated so many times. Just by saying this one sentence, you're going to get the reward without actually having an internal reward, external reward, which is which is better for your motivation overall. Trust me. Now another thing that's pretty important is that this is going to be to sound a little bit weird, but viewing bright light between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. in the morning is going to decrease your dopamine levels for several days. Just think about this. If you stay up late and don't and, and, and don't, don't watch how much light you're viewing basically or how, how bright your light is, this is going to affect your motivation for several days. What does this mean? This means that you basically should try to really dim your lights and don't look at screens that much between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. in the morning. You, ca you, you could, if you wanted to, pair that with going to bed earlier, which would probably be a good idea, but I'm, I'm not gonna talk about this. Just know that viewing bright light late in the evening is going to affect your motivation, not just for, for one day or not just for the next morning, but for several days. Just let that sink in. Uh, by the way, 
Another thing how to increase dopamine is by viewing light outside of night time basically. So, so, so like if you go out during the day and view more sunlight, this is also going to improve your mood, mood and your motivation and your... Okay, this was a lot of information. I hope that it helped you. Always remember after a, after a big boost in dopamine comes a huge crash. And if you want to keep your motivation steady, try to limit these big boosts. And by limiting those, you're also going to avoid the big crashes, which is it is it which is what it is all about. It's all about growing consistent and keeping that motivation up day for day. See ya.